Hello everyone and welcome to episode 19 of Nobunaga's Ambition. Uh, we left off last time uh, trying to, we're trying to take over this fortress and we need to because uh, all the uh, Ashina, this is the Ashina clan, all the Ashina uh, generals or samurais are now are now hiding out here so we better send the other troops here because the other guys don't seem to be concerned with us they're just trying to help out the Ashina clan and uh, let's go to, into the battle phase uh, so we can help out uh, take it earlier before they can come in and uh, distract us Okay, uh, now the decision is should we uh, leave one uh, one guy to garrison this or not? Uh, let's send uh, who was the first? Oh, Big Bang. Let's send Big Bang home. And then let's keep Pao Pei here for one turn or so. Uh, depending on yeah, until we can we can bulk up our troops here. Yeah, let's do that. Send Big Bang home. Or should we chance it? Let's just send both of them home. Uh, these guys apparently are just uh, being cautious. They, they didn't even cross into our border. Okay, let's just send them home. Uh, and then if they start coming for us then maybe we'll send them back see how they react uh, Iwaki clan oh receive vassalage request from Iwaki clan uh, I don't believe in vassals because uh, no I'll refuse them Where's the Iwaki clan? Kaede Lee. Oh, this this daughter that I have, or that our daimyo just has, just have, is generated by the computer. I did not create this uh, character. So now we have a daughter, and that means we can marry her off to improve our alliance with some another daimyo, or or to if we have a particularly uh, powerful samurai or a former daimyo that we had, that is now our uh, it's now our samurai who is working for us but who's uh, we want to make sure that their loyalty to us is very high then we can make him a relative of ours by marrying our daimyo's daughter to him okay Again, we can now need to uh, investigate this uh, new fortress. Uh, who can we send? Same Talung. And then we need to put uh, place a lord for in this. Uh, let's say get Nagao over there. Uh, it would be a good person. Kaede Lee. Nagao over there. It's pretty high, right? And uh, Kaede Lee should be a good uh okay nagao as the lord and then we can uh, send uh, another person to keep him company kaede would be a good uh, candidate uh kaede here she has a very high she's a high enough uh, uh politics Okay, uh, then now we have 31 labor. Uh, it might make sense now for us to uh, improve more of our highways. Uh, let's check on, let's, yeah, let's, let's do more road work here. Uh, so we have now these roads connecting our fortresses. So all the way out to here, we need to actually develop more of these. So one, two, uh, three, four. 
five, six. Wow, it's getting really expensive. And uh, bringing this, the ones close to Yoita, to Yoita is there, right? Uh, bring the one close to to a big to a city, all the way to five. Here, a square, circle, confirm. Let's have Jane Lee do it. 3200 can she do it for less great fantastic uh any castles that can be oh upgraded yes uh huh let's upgrade this one to a ranch or maybe this one wow what a quarry oh quarries ah because there has there's a mine there so we need to do the quarries quarries good it will improve our what you call this improve our mine output i think i believe that uh okay and then this one let's do cargo man and it will increase maximum agriculture then we just do development on these guys so uh over here let's improve wow not uh chai lao is not doing such a swell job i think uh has grass just grown so okay this is where we used to have a problem because of the uh, uh so the upgrade we upgraded the right areas then and uh nope shibara no uh yasuda yeah yasuda needs help or needs has a lot of room for growth why is it just so low let's just max out the uh conscripts okay these are the guys who who who, who needs a lot of taka okay we're not doing that much okay hongli is good oh nothing's happening here i think we're too early uh so we still have let's uh we never finished we never finished uh our quest uh, remember the quest or where we were asked to increase craft crafts crops and uh conscripts well that's all based on sado castle or sado fortress so uh hopefully that last piece we will get last that last piece okay that's done and then uh yeah we don't have any more we have any more okay we can proceed to the uh battle phase and hopefully these guys are not waiting to pounce on our guys okay they're going they're going back to their own base cool cool we will be tangling with the date clan uh in a couple of years So, okay. How come no prisoners? What happened to the Ashina prisoners? I thought we got the prisoners. Oh, uh, nothing. Oh. Talong, you're not a good uh, <laughs> person to send out. You couldn't find anything. Uh, maybe I should name you Blind Lung. Anyway, so uh, we're back to the uh, development phase. Uh, let's zoom out, R1 to zoom out, and see if there are any more upgradable areas. Oh, okay. Uh, how much gold do we have? 6,000. What's over here? Village. What does the village do? Village okay maximum agriculture okay let's do that and then another one for matsudai and okay let's go with trader because adjacent districts suitable for conscripts and crafts okay let's go with trader and another for sakato 
Okay, no theater. We'll increase our wow by uh, okay population by eleven per turn. Uh, okay, time for development. Let's develop the least or the ones with the best uh, benefit. Kasubiyama. Uh, it's always slow because I, there's such a big castle. Now, oh yeah, these are the, we should be concentrating most of our development in this area because uh, first they're just, let's see, it's 1203. If we change it to another guy, ah, uh, no, he's still the best. Okay. And then uh, Shibata, let's max him out. Uh, Yasuda, are there any more high? No, we're close to maxing out on the development side. Uh, hmm. And lastly, but not the least, oh, did we give? Yeah, we assigned uh, Nagao over there, right? Yeah, okay. Now, yeah, so. That will be the last development phase. Kaide Lee, okay. So I guess that's it, right? Uh, that's our development phase. And uh, we don't have much gold left. Uh, is Can we pacify any guys, anybody here close to us? 30? 60, uh, 17, uh, yeah, let's try pacifying this guy to 92, okay, then, uh, that's it, uh, we have almost no gold, <laughs> uh, That's right, we have almost no gold. Let's just go into, let's close in and go into the battle phase. Uh, nothing happening here. Maybe it's a good idea. That's what to do with the captives. Okay, these were the Ashina guys that we just take took in. Uh, let's just get all of them. Okay, the daimyo is shy. Cool. Okay. Where did they go? I, I, I forgot to check. Oh, but there are only two. Uh, uh, either Shibara or... Oh, no, Sado. Sado, right. Yeah, Sado. Because those are uh, Sado and uh, I think Yasuda were the two places we, where we uh, generated the army. Okay, one more development phase and uh, yeah, just basically uh, let's check on, these are the areas that we, we can still, uh, okay, we can, Sakato? What's here? Oh, rice exchange. Oh, we should do this. That's wonderful. And then finally, what? what's here? Let's have a rice dealer. Let's get the population going up quickly. Then now into the development phase. Get more soldiers. Soldiers here. <laughs> so that they can be self-sufficient as quickly as possible. Uh -huh. So
so uh, yeah this is all the micromanaging you will we will be doing more and more of this and if you play this game if you like this part of it, it oh there are still certain areas that we haven't explored yet because we don't have uh, the money or we're just still very early in the game uh, there's still a lot more to do and uh, and we we will continue to work with uh, this tutorial until we have covered everything and then uh, then we'll see what else we can do so now we have done all the developments for this month uh, we're down to only one labor and less than a thousand in gold so i guess this would be a good place to cut the uh, this episode and uh, if you like what you've seen and uh, what we went through please let me know by clicking on that like button and please register on my channel bargain gaming uh, because i intend to put more content into this channel so thank you for joining me and uh, hope to see you again bye